Hi guys, right, and welcome back to the channel. And today you're joining me from a very warm and vibrant Doha, where I'm going to be trying out what is possibly one of the best first class experiences in the world. Now, cash prices for this four hour one way flight to Istanbul are coming in at over £5,000 per person. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can do it yourself for just over £100 in cash, a little bit of effort, and some Avios points. So, without further ado, let's head on inside and kickstart this review. So welcome guys to my first ever Qatar Airways first class review on the channel. I'm really excited to take you inside and show you what it's like. Once you step inside the terminal, you head left for business class, but if you're flying first class like us today, you head right and into the promised land. In first class, you're welcomed into a private booth where an agent handles all the formalities for you. This is where it starts to feel really exclusive. I checked in at around 10 a.m. in the morning and the entire check-in area was completely empty. From there, I was directed to a private security area dedicated solely to first class passengers. I was literally on my own in the security queue and it took me about two minutes to get through in total. Right next to the security area, there's an escalator that takes you up into the first class Al Safwa lounge. Now, unless you're actually walking through it, it's hard to grasp the sheer size, scale and unbelievable design of this lounge. So I'm going to let the camera roll for the next two and a half minutes. We'll walk through it together without a voiceover, allowing you to fully absorb the ambience and visuals and experience what it feels like to be walking through the most luxurious first class airport lounge in the world. However, if that's not your thing, don't worry, feel free to skip to the next section where the fun begins with five star food, champagne and even a thermal jacuzzi in the spa. As we settle into the lounge and restaurant bar, what do you guys think about paying the £150 entrance fee for access to this place? Personally, I think it's a great deal. You could easily get more than your money's worth in high-end champagne and food alone, plus considering you can relax here for up to 6 hours instead of being stuck in a busy airport, it's definitely an option worth considering if you're ever travelling through Doha without a first class ticket. As I slowly work my way through this extensive menu, I'd really appreciate if you could hit the like button and subscribe. My channel is new and right now I have around 800 followers. I'm hoping that this video can help push me to 1000. So let's do this. Come on guys, hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget at the end of this video I'll be doing my giveaway as usual. And I'll also show you how with a little bit of effort you can book this once in a lifetime flight and experience all of this for yourself. <laughs> Just
just a note, if you're short on time, there is a buffet available. However, since I had a few hours before my flight departure, I decided to sit down and enjoy the full dining experience. The quality of each dish was absolutely outstanding, comparable to that of a very high-end restaurant. Everything from the service to the presentation was absolutely spot on. Now I also definitely promised that I didn't eat all of the food that I ordered. I'm not trying to break any world records here or anything. I just wanted to show you guys the menu and at the end of the day it's for research purposes, right? Upon checking in at the lounge, I was offered a time slot to experience the thermal jacuzzi. Now in my language I would call this a hot tub, but in the first class world it's called a thermal jacuzzi. And just by using those words it definitely did feel like it added an extra touch of luxury. That temperature's fine with me, yes, thank you very much, it's all good. It all looks fabulous. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, I could definitely get used to this. Come on British Airways, pull your finger out and get some thermal jacuzzis ordered. As I headed out, I felt like saying, I'll sap for lounge? Completed it, mate. So as I head on to board my flight, I just wanted to quickly sum up my experience at the Al Safra Lounge. And if you're ever travelling through Doha and have some time to spare, just do it. Don't even think twice. Pay the entrance fee and experience the best lounge in the world. I've been to the Emirates First Class Lounge in Dubai, and I'm sorry to say Emirates, but Qatar's Al Safra is not just a little bit better, it is miles ahead. And I just don't see how it could be beaten anytime soon. In last week's video, I reviewed British Airways Premium Economy and I mentioned that I would be giving away the amenity kit, pillow and blanket. If you haven't watched that review yet, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. Now it's time to spin the wheel though and reveal who the winner is. Congratulations to Penny Blue Bottle. Please get in touch with me via my channel email or by sending me a YouTube message so I can get it all sent over to you. This week, I'm going to be giving away a first class diptyque set, which is really, really nice. If you'd like a chance to win that, keep watching until the end of the video. Remember though, you must be subscribed to my channel to win it. Hi, how are you doing? You okay? Thank you. Thank you. So first we ask for Mr. Mark. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. This is your seat. Wow, thank you. So I was the first person to board the plane and the crew gave me a really nice welcome. I sat down on the seat and couldn't believe just how wide it was. There was definitely room for another person to sit next door to me. And although the seat didn't look brand new, with the amount of space it offered, it felt like a really nice place to spend the next four hours.
let's have a quick look through Kata's extensive menu. And again, if this isn't your thing, feel free to skip to the next section, which is takeoff at 11.08. prizes for guessing who this aircraft belongs to. Qatar Airways leases this Boeing 777 from Cathay Pacific. Now, it's time for a culinary masterpiece at 35,000 feet, the main event. After all of that amazing food, I decided to loosen my belt a notch or two and try out the bed. It was the widest and most comfortable bed I've ever experienced on a plane, with the width at the top comparable to a full single bed. The blankets and pillows provided by Qatar Airways felt soft and luxurious, adding to the premium experience. The only problem was, we were landing soon and I could have easily done at least another 10 hours, if not more. Oh well, hopefully one day I'll be back again soon. As promised, here is this week's giveaway. To win this Diptyque set, first, you must be subscribed to the channel, and second, let me know in the comments what you think of the El Safra Lounge, and if it's something that you'd pay £150 to try out if you're ever passing through Doha. As we're coming into land, let me show you how you can book this bucket list flight and experience everything you've seen in today's video. But first, let me clarify that I'm not a credit card broker, nor am I getting paid for providing this information, so please do your own research. All my reviews are entirely self-funded and I'm sharing this information so you can see that flying in first class doesn't require spending thousands of pounds. Now let's get started. On Qatar Airways website, availability is wide open from Doha to Istanbul, most days in first class. So for 52,000 avias and about 90 pounds in taxes, you can do the four hour journey that I've done today. How do you get 52,000 avias, you ask? 
British Airways currently offers a bonus on their credit card, granting you 60,000 Avios if you spend 3,000 pounds on the card within three months. You could hit the spend bonus, get the points, cancel the card so the card fee wouldn't apply and use the points to book this flight. Alternatively, and this is what I recommend, you could keep the card for the full year, continue spending and earn extra benefits like a free companion voucher to use on British Airways flights. Even if you never get around to using the bonus Avios points, you can always convert them to Nectar points to use for shopping at Sainsbury's, Argos or even online on eBay. So to quickly sum up, for 52,000 Avios, I think this is a great value way of flying first class and experiencing a once in a lifetime type of flight. Everything about it was simply unbelievable and I'd highly recommend it to you. So if you're ever on the way back from Asia and you're transiting through the Middle East, take a detour via Istanbul and enjoy this flight experience. Personally, I'd stop over for a couple of nights and explore all that the amazing city of Istanbul has to offer. Thank you very much.